Hey guys, Senya here and welcome to another interesting video. And today I got a really awesome plugin for Photoshop which I will be using to add some atmosphere and lighting into my artwork. The plugin is called Optics and it's not just a random plugin that I found. The developers behind this plugin are called Boris FX and they have over a million users of their products. And not just simple artists like we, they have Disney, Netflix, Marvel and so on on the list that are using their products right now. So what you get is all these special effects from all these big names that they are using. You get them right in Photoshop and you can use them for your own photo editing. Isn't that pretty cool? They also won two Academy Awards and three Emmys with their products. So you know this is a really good plugin for Photoshop. I'll show you how I create something with it and if you like it you can get a 20% discount if you use the link in the description. Let's just jump right into it. <laughs> All right, as you can see here, I created this artwork in Photoshop. And what I want to do now is I want to make this a bit better by using optics. So with optics, we can make like really cool finalizing effects to our image. Now, what I want to do first is I want to create a new layer. So I work on a new layer with optics. So I create a new layer and I'm going to create command option shift E, or if you're on Windows, that's control alt shift E to create a new layer of your whole design. Now, the important thing here is to create a smart object so we can always edit stuff what we are doing now, right? So create a smart object of that and then go to filter, Boris FX optics and open up optics. So this is the interface of optics. Optics works in Photoshop, but also in Lightroom. I'm going to show you how I work with this in Photoshop. So here we have layers so basically like in photoshop you also have layers which you can use to create effects so for every layer we're gonna create a new effect right so this is the original layer and this is the first layer we'll be working you can create layers by clicking this one here and here we have some tools that we can use and here we have the filters and here will be the presets so once i select the filter i will I will select a preset for this filter. So let's start off with working on the light. So I want to create some really cool light in this image. So I'm gonna go here and select light. And here we have some different options that I can select. So let's scroll all the way here. Let's see what we have here. And I'm looking for this one, Relight. I really like Relight because it creates like this really cool kind of spotlight effect. And I tried it with different photos and it looks really cool because you can move this to there and change the whole settings of this. So I want to make sure my light is coming from there and it's like hitting them there. So I'm going to take these image, these corners and drag it a bit there. And you can see on its face, it instantly changes the lighting. And now we're creating a bit more like a spotlight effect here. Let me oh, zoom out a bit and just changing these, these corners here to get more lighting on their faces. And here we have the settings of the light. So in these parameters, you can customize this whole lighting like you want to. So maybe you want a little bit more brightness or a little bit less. This all depends on your photo, of course. And you can see how easy I can change all these settings here. I don't have to worry about doing weird stuff like in Photoshop brushing faces and all those things. You can just change the settings here, maybe add a blur to your light if you like that. So let me give it a bit more blur here. And I think the brightness is too much. So I'm gonna drop this to, let's say somewhere around 70. Let's do 80. I think 80 looks fine. And this is already pretty cool. I'm not gonna touch this. And if I click on this, I can disable enables and you can see the difference what kind of lighting I created. So let's move on. Let's create a new layer again. And this time I'm gonna do some particles. So if I'm gonna go here down in the filter section, we can again select something we want to do. And I want to create some particles. And here we have some really cool particles. Like for instance, I wanna have a bit of dust coming from this side light. Like the light is here. So I wanna see some dust in the light. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a particle that's called PI smoke. And actually I'm going to use smoke to make this dust. And if I take this, I can move this to there. And maybe you are familiar with using um, images on a black background in Photoshop. You just 
put images with black background in your composite and you change the blend mode to screen and then you have like effect like this but with optics we can really customize this whole thing so i'm gonna go here and here i'm gonna select some different values so let's see we can change this whole smoke particle maybe you want to have it like really smoky or really thin this all depends on your image of course so i want to have it a bit more like like that and let's see let's change the tint color to a bit more orange like that so it blends better with this image now i'm gonna move this bit up let's see let's let's play around with the settings i like to play around with settings instead of using like the same values over and over so i'm just gonna see how this looks in this image and you can see we can change this whole particle to our our own our own idea how we want this right so oh that's a bit too much let's just move this there i want to have it at the top where the light is coming from and i think this is already enough you can obviously change the opacity here if it's too much just make it a bit more transparent like that so i'm gonna drop this a bit so it doesn't get too dusty here i think this is fine now obviously you can play around with this, with the settings, how you want it. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna create another layer here. So I'm just simply pressing on this and I have a new layer again. And now let's add some grad tints. So here we can select some gradients and some tints. Let's see what we have here. I wanna change the color a bit. So if you are familiar with uh, Lightroom presets, you know, you can apply presets to your image and it instantly changes the mood of your image. So I can actually do pretty much the same here because look at how much presets we have here. These are really a lot of presets. So I don't even know which one I'm gonna use, but there's so many options. So I can just simply click on each of these, see how it looks in my image and decide if I wanna use it or not. And I can also just disable, enable to compare it. Is it better? Yeah, I think it looks better. So let's use this one. Not gonna change the settings here. I think this looks fine. Let's create a new layer again. And we are just stacking all these layers here. Let's do some color adjustments. Let's enhance the colors here. I'm gonna click on enhancing. And here and again, I have a lot of presets that I can use. So let's just scroll through these and find the best one. Let's see. Maybe, maybe a bit like this one. And let's see, let's change this to red. And I think this is already fine. Maybe a bit less. I think this is oh, too much. Don't want it too much. Let's see that before and after. We got a bit more red tones. What I would like to do here is I would like to add flying dust around this area here where the light is coming from. So for this, I'm going to create a new layer again. And I'm going to go into particle illusion here and go into PI dust fog and select smooth fog and you can see here i can move this little piece of fog around and in this fog we can see these little kind of dust flying around so this is exactly what i want the only thing i would have to do here is to obviously adjust the settings so in the parameters here i can simply adjust this whole area of fog so let's increase this one so we get rid of those those dark clouds. I don't want to see those dark clouds. I just want to see these little particles flying around. And this gives like this magical effect to your image. I like these kind of effects because they add some sparkling touch to your design. And with the settings here, I can just customize it how I want to. This line is looking that way. So I think it's, it adds a bit of extra to your image. So let's also maybe change the color here do something more this way like that i think this looks fine the next really awesome feature from optics is lens flare so let's add a lens flare into this artwork so i'm gonna create a new layer again and i'm gonna go into light here and select lens flare and here you have a bunch of different lens flares that you can use for your artwork so i could try to pick one of these let's try one of these California sun, for instance, and move these lens flare to the right spot. So I want to have it like out of the frame somewhere there where the light is coming from. 
and here we have the parameters of this lens flash so usually if you use lens flash you might have like all these images in your computer and then you just change the blend mode to screen and that's it you have a lens flare but here in optics you can customize this whole lens flare to your liking so let's increase the length of these rays so we can see them a bit more better like that and i want to make sure these rays are a bit blurred out so i'm gonna increase the blur of these rays so we don't really see these harsh rays we want to make sure they are blurred out to make this look a bit more real like that maybe even more so basically you could play with these settings here you can also make these rays really colorful you can change the brightness here and all this other stuff that goes into detail of this whole lens thread so basically you can customize this whole lens thread like you want to so i'm just gonna leave it a bit simple like that to make this lens flare a bit more realistic we have a really cool feature here in the settings it's called atmosphere and this will make the lens flare a bit more smoky so if i'm gonna increase this one you're gonna see how this changes the lens flare so this looks a bit more real if i play around with the settings here let's increase these settings to make this lens flare look more realistic like that and you can see here how it changes to a bit more kind of misty smoky effect to this lens flare maybe this is a bit too much so i'm gonna drop this slightly to have like something like this i think this looks fine let's see maybe a bit more maybe the thickness of the rays a bit more thickness like that a bit less like that just a bit thicker rays and now i'm gonna move this lens for a bit out of the frame so we only see these beams coming in so i think this looks fine this looks pretty cool if you for instance want to have effects only applied to certain areas you can also use masks in optics so you can basically just mask out elements but for this one i'm not going to use mask because i think this one looks fine without masking anything here now the last thing i would like to show here is that optics also has like these kind of presets that you can apply to your image so this is not just for lighting but also to change the whole mood of your image so if i'm gonna go into film lab here and select film stocks we can select some really cool kind of presets from movies so let's see here you can see the name of the movie and this is actually the preset that's combined in this movie so if i want to go down here and select for instance world war z i get the same effect like the world war z movie so let's try out one of these maybe the wizard of Oz looks pretty cool on this one i think this one looks nice and the only thing i would change here is to drop the opacity here a bit maybe to 50 to not have it too much and i can compare that before and after you got a bit more different kind of tones now once you are satisfied with the whole editing process here you simply apply all these settings to your to your image and it's pretty much done now you can see the before and after so this is what i created out of this and if i'm disabled this this was before you can see it looks really cool how i changed this whole image now obviously i also like to add some extra stuff to my image what i always do is I like to customize this a little bit so maybe i'm gonna play with the settings here drop a bit of this one add some curves just to finalize this whole image to my liking maybe a bit more lighting like that and i think this one is fine so yeah that's pretty much it that's how you create something really cool out of your image with optics so make sure to check it out there's a link in the description so you can get a 20 percent discount and i hope to see you on the next video thanks for watching